Hey guys, today we're going to be making our creepy crawly creation. The first thing we're going to do is fit our foam. We're using the Black Oasis foam today. You're going to need about a half of a brick um, with the brick standing up straight and the words facing the side. The first flower we're going to stick in is our Galix Rose that we made yesterday and we're going to insert it in the right corner of the container with the head of that Galix Rose laying flush. Now another thing about black foam is it's going to be meant to be seen so I need to make sure that I only stick that stem once. The next plant we're going to insert is our Aspidistra leaf. Now you notice I'll have un unnecessary parts of that leaf that would be going in the foam. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to remove the, the, the um, parts that I don't want and I leave about two inches of stem to go in the foam. The way that I trim it down, if you didn't notice, is I take either my stem cutters or my knife and I cut right up underneath where I have it rolled. And then I just simply peel back the parts of the leaf that I don't want. So here I am just taking my knife, I make two slits on either side underneath the roll and I just peel back what I don't want. And then I give it a nice cut and I'm going to insert both of them on top of each other in the left corner of my container. Again with that bottom aspidistra laying flush with the container. And then the second one on right directly on top of it. The next thing you're gonna add is your stock. Now the stock is gonna establish a line, it's gonna establish our height. So I'm gonna just go with the stock in the back middle and I probably leave about six inches of the flower showing and then the second stalk, I'm gonna go directly to the left of it, and I'm gonna leave it about two inches taller than my first stalk that I put in. And you can kinda see that where I stuck them when I had it turned facing the back. The next things we're gonna do is we're gonna do a grouping of the carnations in the back right, sorry, left of our container. Um, I do this by again just putting that carnation flush with the corner of the container and then I make another one right directly beside it flush with the container, the head of the flower flush with the container. And then the third one I go on top to kind of make of a triangle. Um, I want the groupings to be close together but yet not so close that each of those odd carnations loses their identity. So here it is again, just kind of talking about what I'm talking about with a grouping. The next plant we're going to insert is our last Aspidistra. Um, again, make sure that you're trimming off the parts of the leaf that you don't want in the foam. You want clean stem going into the foam always. Give it a fresh cut and put it in the right back corner. Again, flush with the container. These rolled aspidistras are a perfect way to hide our mechanics, um, you know, and, you know, take up space. The next thing is we're going to do is we're going to insert our spray roses right above where we put our last aspidistra. Now, I'm going to do the, a, a grouping of the spray roses, but also I'm doing a technique called color blocking. So, you notice that I'm putting all the colors that are alike in the same vicinity. So I have all my purples together, I'll have all my oranges together, and then last I'll have all my greens together. Um, so just kind of fill in and group those roses together and make sure that you're only sticking it in the foam one time and that you're sure of your, because you don't want additional um, holes in that foam. Now, I do put some of the spray roses in the front. Um, I end up moving those out because I did not, I thought they kind of didn't make sense to go there once I inserted my spider mum. So, I would try to stick with all your spray roses in the back. The spider mums, I'm going to put right in the front of those two stalk, about halfway up for my tall one. When I mean halfway up, halfway up my stock. Here it is kind of showing you a better visual. And then my second one will go right in between the two rolled aspidistras in the front. 
and it's going to be quite shorter than the first one that I inserted. So here it is kind of showing you where I inserted those. Once you're happy with where they are and they're good in the foam, um, you can remove the netting. So please, 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 I know I've said this 50 times, but make sure that your spider mums or all your flowers are at least an inch and a half um, in that foam so that way they get plenty of water and they last for our customers. So here's a full 360 so that you can see um, where all the placements are. Um, you'll notice I do see foam and that's okay because it's the beauty of black foam. The last step is gluing on your creepy crawly spiders. I would actually recommend going ahead and gluing these first and setting them to a side until you're ready because the more tackier the glue is, the better it sticks and you're just using the Oasis um, cold glue for that. And you can just stick those basically wherever you want where you feel like the, the customer would appreciate them. Again, these are just our little creepy crawlies. And there you have it, our creepy crawly Halloween arrangement. Hope you enjoy.